Well, you have got 15 on 15. Next, we are going to start with a new concept, adjectives. Okay, we saw noun, we saw pronoun, now we are going to see adjectives. Now all these we will not be repeating again because when you go to the higher classes it will be an advanced study of adjectives or pronouns or um, uh, nouns. So I am not going to dwell on it again. So when I teach you itself concentrate and clarify your doubts. Okay, shall we go on to adjectives? Now what is an adjective? An adjective is a describing word. It describes a noun or a pronoun or it qualifies it. So an adjective is a describing or qualifying word. Okay, A describing or qualifying word is an adjective. And what does it qualify or describe? It describes or qualifies a noun or a pronoun. Now that you have done both, you will be very clear on it. So the next topic is adjectives. Okay, adjectives, what are they? Describing or it describes or qualifies a noun. Describes or qualifies a noun or pronoun. Okay, is that clear? Now for example, I'll just uh, tell you orally, um, it is a beautiful rose. So beautiful is a word which describes or qualifies the noun rose. Um, Mary or uh, Maria is a uh, lady who is very clever. Maria is very um, smart, she is very clever or she is a clever woman. Okay, Clever is a uh, word which describes or qualifies woman or Maria, both the same. So a pronoun or a noun, Okay, which describes or qualifies a noun or a pronoun, it is, a, it is an adjective. Okay, now we are going to see, uh, I am not going to give you exercise on filling up adjectives or uh, underlining adjectives it's very very simple because in lower classes you would have done it now we are going to see just see the different kinds of adjectives and we are going to see the comparison of adjectives which uh, will be uh, useful for your high school that is 9 8 9 and 10 and also in your 11 and 12 this comparison of adjectives will be the most uh, uh, wanted one in your high, high school and higher secondary. So all the simple ones I am going to omit because what we are doing just now is high school grammar. Okay, uh, kinds, different kinds of this is just to for you to know the different kinds that I am giving you and then after uh, I give you the kinds we will be moving on to uh, comparison of adjectives. Okay, I am going to give you just five adjectives. First one qualitative adjective second one 
quantitative adjective third one demonstrative demonstrative adjective fourth one interrogative you learnt in your pronouns also interrogative pronoun here also you have and the fifth one fifth one is adjective of number or numeral Okay, so you see the five kinds and uh, what do each one, uh, what does each one do, what does each adjective do, we will see. Okay, it describes the the characteristics. It describes the characteristics of the noun. Okay, so uh, for example, the fearless child went near the tiger. Fearless describes the child, isn't it? Next one, quantitative. Answers to the question, how much? Okay, example I will give you. Um, they had... Only some rice left. Some. How much? Some. Demonstrator adjective. It uh, says it points out to a It points out to a particular or specific noun. <clears throat> Example, these dishes are not washed. These okay points out to some specific which dishes these dishes okay now interrogative questions how uh, when all that okay 
एग्जाम्पल विच सॉन्ग हैव यू सिलेक्टेड विच सॉन्ग हैव यू सिलेक्टेड फॉर द कॉम्पिटिशन Which song have you chosen for the or have you selected for the competition? Okay, which is the uh, interrogative adjective? Next, numeral adjective. It talks about number. That is how many. in this you have cardinal ordinal and uh, the general numbers okay cardinals are uh, like 1 2 3 you know and, and uh, ordinals are first second third okay in this you have cardinals one two okay ordinals first second etc okay so this is how um okay this is how like i'll give you examples for this ram always stood first in the class okay do you understand or she was the second to come um okay that is ordinals cardinals is uh, he had three bags okay uh, baba black she have you any wool yes sir yes sir three bags full now three here denotes uh, the cardinals and it belongs to numeral adjective okay so even numbers are uh, adjectives and colors are also adjectives colors will come under qualitative adjectives so please remember even numbers and colors are adjectives okay so now you go through it qualitative adjective describes the characteristics example the fearless child went near the tiger fearless it describes the quality of the child next one quantitative adjective how much they had only some rice left some much uh, many all this will come under quantitative demonstrative adjective points out to a specific noun these dishes are not washed those are the ones which are washed so these those this that all these are demonstrative adjectives interrogative adjective asks questions which song have you selected for the competition which is a question here numeral adjective is how many that is 1 2 3 or the first second third so ram always stood first in the class here first is an ordinal number and uh, it denotes uh, the numeral adjective so is that clear the kinds of adjectives now we'll go on to the comparison of adjectives the degrees of comparison okay